we are going to test a 12 volt a 4 pin type 12 volt 4 pin and normally open so normally this type of relay is normally they use in like uh, air core or oven and microwave and for the height load ampere they use this type of relay so the down here you will see there is two pin and this side there is a small two pin for the PCB and this side for the load or which is basically for the load side and the pin is bigger size so once you see the relay you will have to see you will have to check out uh, your relay is how many voltage to trigger is so once we already know this relay is 12 volt trigger 12 volt quad so uh, this is the symbol of the relay 4 pin relay so uh, now is we didn't supply the power so the coin is open here once the coin is open here and the loose side the magnet is not conducting so the relay is open so this is the now the condition normally open 4 pin types of relay condition so but if you supply the 12 volt here so from here the coin will turn it on here the coin is already turning on here and then magnet is already turning on here so is the loop can go through the current here so how we're going to test with this kind of the relay so since you already know your relay is 12 volt your relay is 12 volt first we're going to test multimeter we're going to use digital multimeter and you select on the buzzer buzzer mode if you try ties, uh, if you test with the buzzer here you won't get anything you won't get any sounds but from here you will have sound this is just no function this is behind two pin the short pin this two pin is no function this is to support the relay to hold once you already solder on the PCB so this two pin will support to hold firmly to your PCB board if you check it here so this one and this two uh, this two pin is linked here you can see here so this pin is no function just to support your PCB board but for the first the first pin this is the coin so there is no conducting you need to supply and this is for the load there is no conducting yet because of off mode the supply is not on so the relay is off mode so normal condition using multimeter is a little bit difficult to identify relay is good or, or not good so what we're going to do is after you already know your relay is 12 volt then you need to have 12 volt power supply I'm using here 12 volt let me check my voltage is 12 volt so I select on my DC mode you need to check your supply is going to be 12 volt then only your relay can be turned on so my power supply DC supply is 12 volt here you can see in multimeter okay 12 volt so this 12 volt you need to supply to turn it on relay so no matter which side you put the, you put the down pin to the ground you trigger here you can hear the sound tuck, tuck, tuck. so once you already supply here that the magnet is on if your supply is you remove this one open back so the good condition of relay you will have the sound like this your supply with trouble tuck, on release open so we're going to test
take your multimeter, select on the buzzer more here. You can select the buzzer. So multimeter, there is buzzer. Okay. So now, this is the loop. Near is open more. Right now it's off more here. So not conducting. That's why open and the buzzer is no sound. But if you supply the travel here, you will notice there will be relay coin is conducting and the buzzer we have. Remove, no buzzer. So this relay is good. If your relay is already uh, broken, already short, you will not hear any sounds. You cannot make it on and off. Okay. If you use analog multimeter, Take your analog multimeter, you select on connectivity. So this is the output, the output for this one. So right now, the travel is not supplied yet. So now it's off mode. Off mode must be open circuit. Okay. So this is how we're going to test with multimeter relay, uh, which is four pin types. So after this, we're going to use uh, 240 volt AC light bar here. You don't turn on first. And this is AC light bar. So basically AC there is life life wire and this is neutral. This is ground. So we cut off the life wire in the middle. We make it like a uh, cable lamp. So make sure your power point, the AC power point, you unplug first for your safety. Then you put it to your relay here. After you already plug in your relay here, you don't try to touch here anymore. This is a risk because of the AC. And after this, we're going to plug to the AC plug point. Can see the light bar, right? Okay. So once you already plug the AC point here, you don't touch on on this pin here anymore. You don't touch. Okay. Then you turn it on the AC. You trigger turbo supply here. So the relay is on. So this relay is good condition. So you can hear the sound. The moment travel is supplied here, and the relay, the coin is on, and the coin is conducting here, and the loop is turning on. So if you don't supply here, and the, the relay is always off, off mode, the first. This is in the normal condition. So we call it this one, normally open relay so after we supply the travel then this is turning on